Hi and welcome to another Tabless Glass Emporium YouTube video from Croatia. We're doing Easter things at the moment and I bring you this delightful floral Easter bowl with little bunnies and little, it's got kind of a um, little woven basket uh, using weaving technique and um, really pretty flowers and I hope you'll enjoy making it. So the first thing we need to do for this is to kind of pre-fuse the bottom layer. Um, now I want to use a bit of frit um, for right at the bottom. I almost don't mind if it ends up with a few holes in it. Um, I've got to remember that uh, I'm going to add flowers afterwards so that I don't want to have the green going too close to the edges. Otherwise, I won't have the, you know, um, the space on my kiln shelf for the flowers. So you kind of need to think about, you know, this layer needs to be this long because the next layer is going to be uh, longer. So on these colours are your leaf green, I think. Um, that one I think is emerald. Um, I've got some of my mint and aventurine that I kind of like to add. And I'm really, as you can see, just sort of blobbing it on. And I'm just going to add some jade. Most of these are transparent, but I'm going to add a bit of jade, which is not transparent. Um, and some pea pod, just because it's a bit lighter in a thinner frit, just to, as you know me, add a bit of dimension. So that's that lot going on. And now I'm going to put some glasses on. And um, I'm going to just start cutting some of these. And I'm literally just laying them out like a spokes of a wheel. But I do want to sort of think about sometimes them crossing. So maybe a kind of because I sort of want a lattice work. So here it is all, all done. Um, as you can see, I've sort of, you know, added leaves to bits. So well, I've, you know, used this lighter Celion glass. Um, I've kind of added leaves off the side of the same color, but used lots of different kind of color glasses. You've got the spring green, Celion, mineral, um, citronella and avocado are the four glasses I've used. So this is now going to go in on a full fuse and we'll carry on working on it after that. So here, this is out of the kiln. Um, I'm lucky I have a sandblaster, so I've sandblasted it. I would it, probably, if I didn't have a sandblaster, build this directly on a kiln shelf that's got a um, uh, kiln wash on it rather than on thin fire, because thin fire is a not great. Um, it's a pain with these. I'm gonna, so this is how it was fused. I'm gonna flip it this way up. Um, eventually this will, you've got to kind of think about how you're gonna do it. This is gonna be draped. So eventually I'll drape it this way up. But this, uh, this sort of side needs to look pretty as well. Now I've lost a little bit there. It got knocked off in the, um, when I was sandblasting, but it doesn't kind of matter. Now I want to build up flowers. Now I've been looking for inspiration, you know, on everyone's favorite Pinterest. Um, you know, I'm not looking to uh, copy anyone's work, but it's a great place for kind of ideas and inspiration of thinking, oh, I'd like to do flowers. I want to do big, bold flowers. I'm not talking about little Marini. I probably will add some little Marinis. I always do to the end as kind of little touches. But this is a much kind of bigger, bolder flower piece. So I'm going to have a little think about what different flowers I want to make and look at my inspiration and then start building them and then you can come back to me. So the first one I'm doing, I've just put another um, piece underneath here because I wanted to do something a bit higher. And as you can see, I've just cut um, pieces of blue glass and I'm just going to... You've got to remember this is going to be seen from both sides. So actually this will be the, on the inside, but the other side will be on the outside. So I don't mind this. It's not maybe as neat as I'd like, but it will be nice and you'll get the kind of blue glass coming through. I'm going to put this on top with a bit of blue gel. Just to ho hold it all in place. And then I've literally just cut um, some of our bluebell marini to go on top as kind of the ends of the flowers and I'm going to put those all the way around. So here it is so far I'm probably going to add a little bit more before it goes in the kiln um, but if I do I'll just take a photograph and have a look at it. Um, I've added a little bit more to this um, I wanted to make sure it had a good sort of join here and some stringers to sort of soften it a bit. Um, this is just made with a stringer and some marini kind of a bit worried that this might be a bit thin for the weight but we're just going to see um again these are just triangles with some um, st stringer scraps so 
some kind of daffodil type things here. Um, really, it's sort of looking on Pinterest and finding kind of flowers. These are some more um, tulips um, and sort of other flowers we've done with our big marini. And um, there's some kind of white flowers that are quite hard to see on the kiln shelf down here. Um, and I'm going to, yeah, probably add a few more and some scattering and marini around. And then it will go in the kiln on a tack fuse. Um, it really is it's just you, you, you're trying to build up strength. So to make sure that if you like here, these are quite thin stringers. So I put quite a few of them to hopefully be enough for the weight of the marini underneath. And we're going to do a, a kind of contour fuse. It's going to go higher than a tack, but lower than a full fuse. Um, just to really try and kind of get it all to um, glue together well. But some of the stuff that's, you know, is too thin. These are quite thick um, uh, stringers. Some of the thinner ones, I'm a bit concerned, so I might kind of build them up a bit more and try and have a bit more kind of structure to it. Um, but once it's um, been contour fused, we'll have a look at it and see how it is. So here it is in the kiln, we're ready to go. I've added more. Some butterflies and some Easter eggs, because for me it's like an Easter bowl. I've tried to make sure I'm tucking things underneath so the underside will have details on it as well. And now it's gonna go in. So it's now fused, now we've flipped it, we've taken it out, cleaned it really carefully, and some of the bits were a bit too delicate. Um, if I show you down here, sort of, these and I was worried they would be and I've already I'm afraid I've, I've kind of gone ahead and done this and well actually when I say oh, I Miller's gone ahead and done this and, and put more stuff on it because um uh we wanted to get it in the kiln um so we've then you know I had a lot of stuff that I poked under like these and these I poked under so that and the easter eggs so they'd be seen from this side but um and these came out really nicely because they were already fused I put them down before but we decided to sort of add more stuff to this side so it's going to be interesting on both sides because this is a drape bowl you're going to see it from this side and then on also from this side so it's nice to have both sides now when we tack fuse at this time and i'll do a light tack fuse the stuff on the bottom is going to get squashed flat there's no two ways about it it's going to get squashed flat so we're going to lose the definition on the underside um which will be the inside of the bowl eventually but you know you can't have definition on both i've tried before i've tried you know firing on you know um uh for um six mil fiber paper and i might again put this on six mil fiber paper or even two lots of it to see whether it gives some cushioning to the definition on the other side but it doesn't um do it massively actually i had a piece that i did it with but it's not here um so you know you're going to lose a bit of definition on the other side but you'll get the definition on this side which will be the kind of outside the bowl so we've done this now i wanted to add a couple of other things now i made i'm so pleased with this i made a little basket with flowers and eggs in it it's kind of nice on both sides um you all have seen the weaving i did on the other video this is weaving on small over little kind of um kiln posts or over chalk you just slump it. You want to go to quite high slumping temperature to make sure they slump. And then you put these in. As I said, there's loads of weaving videos out there. These are, the handle is made out of, um, I've got a brown braided cane available. You can buy it in 20 centimetres or 40 centimetre lots. Um, because the 40 centimetre lots would do the big basket handle that we um, did in the last YouTube video. Uh, but you just literally slump it over whatever you have to hand. I did it over a flower pot. So I cut a lot of flower pots in half and slump things over th those because then you can kind of, you know, at the bigger end you can slump them this big and at the smaller end you can slump them this big. So they're quite good if you can, you know, get them cut in half on the tile saw. Um, so that's that. Uh, and I just literally, we wrote it together and I tack fused this all together with some flowers. So I'm going to put that in my garden. Unfortunately, this egg is going to get covered up. Um, but here and then Miller, who is filming, hello Miller, made me some bunnies to go on here. Um, so I've got a couple of bunnies to go on the outside too. Which I'm going to put on and then we'll show you. So here it is, all finished and ready to go in the kiln. It's going to go on a slightly lighter tack fuse. The last time it went on a kind of contour fuse. Um, and this time it's actually going to go on a light tack fuse because I really want it to keep its shape as much as possible. 
So here it is out of the kiln. I'm really pleased how it's come out. Um, I've done a long uh, annealing on this, guys, of course, because you've got multiple layers here. Um, that, that will be um, demonstrated in the firing schedules at the end. Um, I'm really happy. You know, we've got a bit of bunny head um, slippage here, but I don't mind that. Um, it's pretty good. I love the way I'm, it's come out. I'm going to try and flip it over. Now, it's really hard to manipulate these. It's kind of nerve-wracking because some areas are so delicate. But you can see on this side now, it's all sort of flattened out. Still got a bit of texture here. Um, but the uh, butterflies, I think, look fantastic now, particularly over um, on this side. And so this will be the inside of the bowl. Um, actually, it's sort of, I'm going to slump it over a cocktail shaker. I've cleaned the back carefully to get any um, any uh, thin fire off it. Just double checking it. And now I'm going to flip it. Now it's going to go on a cocktail shaker like this. I've cut this one millimetre, your thinnest fibre paper, to match. And then it's going to go on this. And I'm going to kind of line it up using my fingers to make sure that the... Um, this is on top of the cocktail shaker. It's... And I can have a look underneath and make sure it is. And then this will go in the kiln. I'm probably going to have to um, maybe put some fibre paper under it. It's a bit one side heavy, guys. I'm noticing this now. It wants to flip this way. So I want to pull it this way. And then the cocktail shaker is not going to be totally under the, the centre of it. Um, but I think it will be okay. If I need to, I could always put a little bit of fibre paper on one side of the cocktail shaker just to lift it up a tiny bit so it's sort of falling in that direction. Um, you obviously don't want it too much, otherwise the whole thing might topple over in the kiln. Um, so this will go on. It's going to go on a very slow firing. It's, you know, you've got, you know, multiple layers, quite thick in areas, um, you know, over here, really thick. And I just want to take my time with it now. It's so so pretty, it'd be a shame to lose it in the, in the uh, draping. So yeah, we'll go in being to be draped and we'll see how it comes out. So here it is out of the kiln, all nicely draped. I am so pleased with this one, guys. Um, I know I say that all the time, but I just love it. It's so happy. Took me all the stuff going on in the world right now. We could all do with a bit of fun, spring happiness. I'm gonna spin it. Um, got the little basket down here. Um, and it's just fantastic from every angle. We've got the other bunny. And um, if you sort of look at, you know, even in the inside, you can kind of see the eggs, you can see the leaves, you can, you know, I feel like I want to play hunt the Easter eggs with my kids on it. Um, it's a sort of, uh, just like a massively fun um, project. And um, I just also want to kind of, you know, draping is always such a difficult science. You never know where things are going to sort of uh, drape. But I kind of love that part of it. Um, and, you know, how this is draped and this here actually caught on the bottom of the kiln but kind of just think it's great angles um i really you know think this is one of those kind of projects when you can let your inspiration go wild and you know you could do kind of totally uh, alien flowers from an alien planet or whatever you want to do it doesn't need to be easter it could be monotone you could do it in entirely kind of blacks and greys and whites it would be fantastic too um i hope you've enjoyed this one and if you've liked this video please subscribe